and welcome to another edition of the RSCDS online podcast. I'm here, delighted to be here with Heather Cowan, a first time teacher at the summer school. So first of all, I just ask you, how are you enjoying it? Thank you, Luke. Um, it's a great experience to teach at summer school. I think it's something that, you know, lots of teachers aspire to. So it's a real honor to be asked, but it's also, um, you know, a lot of work required when you get asked. I mean, you know months in advance and you're working up to it. Um, so it's brilliant just to be here and to have it actually happening. Excellent. Have you come many years as a student? Um, I've been to St Andrews, yes, yeah, several times before. So I know how it works, both the uh, teaching side and the social side. So that gives me an advantage coming here as a teacher. I've done um, both my units two and three at St Andrews and my full certificate at St Andrews. So, yeah, I've been here a number of times before. Excellent. So what classes is it that you're, that you're teaching? Um, I'm teaching beginners and intermediates, which I'm really happy to teach. Um, I teach uh, beginners at, at my uh, branch in Glasgow, so I've had a number of years' experience of teaching beginners, which I can then translate to help me teach the beginners and intermediates here as well. Um, and also, there's such lovely level of dancers to work with. You can see the progression from you know, teaching them the first lesson to the second to the third, and and um, the class that I've got here have really bonded as a class. So there's a lot of support within them. And um, I've really enjoyed teaching them. And I've, from the feedback I've had, they would enjoyed having me as a teacher. So it's worked both ways. I'm sure they're very lucky to have had you. How are you getting on with the musicians, working with a live musician? Um, I work with uh, accordionists in Glasgow, um, which is um, you know, a great honor that in Scotland we have much more than perhaps other parts. It's brilliant working with musicians. Um, and so George, I've worked with previously with MCing, and I did the taster session previously at St Andrews and he played for me. It's been a pleasure to work with Sue and I haven't actually taught with the piano since I did my certificate at St Andrews um, so it's been really lovely and um, I've finished teaching the beginners today and I move on to teaching the intermediates and um, Sue was really nice and said how what lovely it was working together and that's replicated she's been a pleasure to have as a musician um, obviously planning the class in advance and, and giving to musicians what you're going to teach really helps as well because that enables them if they want to do to look out the tunes and prepare as well well, that's great. As you can hear, the music's in full swing. We won't keep you from the dancing any longer. Okay, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thanks, everybody. I'm here with Janet Johnson, a previous Deputy Director of Summer School and a very experienced teacher, but not only with Scottish Country. Janet, you're here teaching Lady Step this week, is that right? I am, yes. And you've also taught Highland as well as Scottish Country here. I taught Highland last week for the first time, actually. Brilliant. So what's it like teaching things that are not Scottish Country at, at summer school, which is largely seen to be a Scottish country dance school? The first classes I ever taught here were actually Lady Step classes, oh. so that's not unusual really. No. Um, but certainly it allows the dancers to learn another skill, if you like. Their uh, Scottish country is supported by their Highland, the, the work that they have to put in for their Highland and their Lady Step, the tidying up of positions, such things. Um, actually benefits, I, th I think it benefits our Scottish. So they complement each other well? I think so, yes. Excellent. So have you got a big, have you, did you, have you had big classes these past couple of weeks with Highland and Lady Step? For the Highland class I had eight, um, or maybe I should say seven and a half, because <laughs> one, of, one of my students was one of the junior dancers. Oh, okay. The, the 12 to 17 year olds who are here for the first time. Oh. And certainly this week I have 16 ladies. Excellent, excellent. So you've, did you put the Dems together for both weeks for those things? Yes, yes, that's part of the, the, the class. Uh, that, those are the rules, if you yes. like. You, know, you teach the class, you do the Dem, yes. <laughs> but only if you think the students are able. So how did it go last week? They were brilliant. Who have you got playing for you this week? Roger McAndrew. In fact, uh, speaking to Roger today, he's now playing for his third Lady Step class. He's played in two previous years. Oh, excellent. But I understand that you've also been brought in to teach Scottish country as well. So that's the Dem, the Lady Step and the country. You've got a very full week. Well, it's been fuller before. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But the, uh, the class this week, we split the intermediate class and that allows, because the class was really covering a very broad range of abilities. So, uh, yes, I uh, am working on the, the class that has the less experience. 
and we're putting some steps and formations together. Well, it's excellent that we've got a broad range of abilities on the staff as well to cope with it. Good to speak to you, Thanks Janet. So I'm here with Alistair Brown, who is our Cayley Master for this final week at summer school. Are you looking forward to being Cayley Master? Um, um, yes, I think so. <laughs> it, sh it should be good. It should be good. This is your first time doing it, yes? Yes, yes, yes. So did you volunteer or how did it all come about? It came about when my timetable arrived and I noticed that my name said Alistair Brown, Cayley. <laughs> so it's a little shocking, but... One of the ways our wonderful director asks us to do something. Yes, yes. <laughs> Who we love her dearly. So, have you got a lot of acts set up for this year? We've got about 16 or 17, so a fair number. A fair number. It should, should be a good night. So, for the people that have never been to summer school and therefore don't know what the Cayley entails, would you give a brief description of what it, a what brief it is? A description would be people volunteer acts, and it can be anything from someone reading a three line poem to a song or a dance. A dance might be something they do on their own or they may get the audience involved. Yeah. So there's a lot of audience participation, even if it's just to sort of clap along or do something that's part of, that brings everybody together. So not a Kaylee in the dance sense, more in the traditional family party sense. Definitely, family party sense. Yeah. So as part of being Kaylee master, you have to keep the whole thing going and add a few anecdotes and jokes of your own. So where have you got them? Where have you? I have trolled the internet. <laughs> This wonderful resource, um, and I will find some things from there. Excellent. Well, I'm sure it'll be great fun, and we look forward to hearing about it. See you later, Alistair. Thank you.